Hey guys, I am here with Stacy, the founder of SB Copywriting Studio. And SB Copywriting Studio works with small service-based businesses, coaches, and consultants that are looking to create unique messaging that is focused on and attracts your dream clients. Stacy is the founder, and she's going to be talking with us today about how to paint a picture for your audience through copy and photography. So I'm going to hand it over to her to start us off on that conversation. Awesome. Thank you, Carrington. So for me, painting a picture, even though you're writing words, is still really important because you want people when they're reading the words to actually be able to see a picture in their brain and visualize it. And so a lot of the times what I see is, you know, when people are talking about the pains of their audience, the struggles, they say something like, okay, like you're totally frustrated because you're procrastinating. But what would that actually look like, right? What is the picture that you can paint and you can really describe the situation? So saying, okay, you're frustrated because you're procrastinating, but it actually looks like you sit down, you open a Google Doc, you decide you need a cup of coffee, come back to your Google Doc, type a sentence, backspace it, decide you need to get a snack. And then all of a sudden it's 15 minutes later and you haven't done anything. So in that way you're still saying the same thing. You're saying you're frustrated because you're procrastinating, but you're actually painting a picture and people can relate to that a lot more. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's huge, like figuring out those two different elements. And we were talking earlier about how you have the two different sides of your brain. And if you read the copy and it says dog, you're going to paint a picture in your head of a dog. But the thing is, everyone's going to have a different picture in their head right? So how do you direct them? So when it comes to photos, it's a unique concept to say, all right, you can see the specific dog, you know what it looks like, you know how big it is, you know the environment it's in, and you still have the word dog, right? So it's interesting to think about both the reverse, like how do you write the copy to paint the picture, or how do you take the picture to write the copy? I think it can go in two different ways depending on where you're starting. Right. Because if you have like a picture of like a big angry dog, but you're writing about like a cute little chihuahua, like it's going to be really confusing for people. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So uh, do you have any tips for people when they are going through this process to say like, slow down, these are the things you need to think about before you actually start putting and implementing? I think just when you write your copy to slow down a little bit and ask yourself where are there places that you can show and not tell. Um, So where are the places that you can give clear and specific visuals and tell like a mini story about what does it actually look like and describe it because that's going to help people really visualize. I love that. That was a great tip. Well, thank you, Stacey, for spending a few minutes with us and giving us a few little tips. Is there any way that people can contact you if they want help with this? Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Stacy Braga Copy. And then you can also check out my website at it is stacybragacopy.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll try again soon. Awesome. Thank you.